that. First thing uh, you want to do in the mornings is obviously, or afternoons, whenever you're running your pieces of equipment or your trucks, is uh, do your pre-trip inspection. Uh, we we'll do here, we got a little Freightliner truck. Uh, basically, first thing you want to do, always check your oil. Uh, make sure it's good and full, not over full. Next you want to do is check your antifreeze. This one here has got a hot cold minimum level uh, right here. Uh, power steering fluid, obviously you can see it. It's good and full here. Uh, your belts and hoses, get down in here sometimes. Check your belts, make sure there's no uh, dry rot cracks or anything like that in those. Um, anything else, any type of oil leaks or uh, injection type leaks, fuel on top of the motor, uh, oil dripping off the side of it. Sometimes you can uh, look underneath, you know, uh, check your oil pan, see if anything like that's leaking. Um, everything looks good on this truck. <clears throat> we'll go over to the other side, check the, uh, the air cleaner, air breather on it, uh, make sure that it's, it's good and clean. Okay, when you come over here to the air cleaner side of the truck, there's an air restrictor indicator right here. Uh, obviously, when it, you see it, it's red. Um, you push it in, turns to green. When it's green, that means it's good and clear. When it's red, obviously, it means it's blocked and needs to be cleaned or changed. Next thing you want to do on your pre-trip inspection, obviously, check your tires. Uh, make sure that every one of them is aired up. You take your hand, bump them. Take a hammer, bump them. Uh, you'll be able to tell the... Uh, tell the difference in the sounds of them if you got a low tire. Uh, also, <clears throat> a lot of times, look in between your dual tires, make sure that if, uh, if you've been over any type of oversized material that is not hung up in between the duals. Uh, while you're back here, check for hydraulic leaks. Um, also off the ram, make sure that there's nothing leaking from the dump body itself. Um, walk around, <clears throat> you get to the back of the, the vehicle, make sure that your mud flaps are, in, are here, are present. Uh, also, make, the, make sure that they're uh, eight inches off the ground uh, and not any higher on these. <clears throat> Another part of your pre-trip inspection is obviously you're checking your batteries. Make sure that there's no uh, type of corrosion on top of your cables or on your post here. Make sure everything is good and tight. Uh, it's got a battery bracket. Holds everything good and tight in place. Uh, make sure that it's there and present. Um, remember, do not smoke while you're around these. If any type of uh, corrosive acid is around, then it could explode. So make sure that's good and latched and, and there. Also, part of your pre-trip inspection, uh, make sure that the exhaust is, is good and clamped. Uh, doesn't look like there's any type of cracks in any of these welds. Uh, a lot of times, <clears throat> this flex pipe right here, you'll start to see it. It'll start splitting in the middle. You'll get some uh, some dark type of the carbon from the exhaust um, built up around here. Obviously, anywhere else that it's been leaking, you'll be able to tell that too. Uh, you just want to make sure that it's good in there. All your your handholds, along with your steps and everything, are good and tight. At the end of your pre-trip inspection, what you want to do is get in the vehicle, turn your key forward, do a function test for all your gauges, make sure your gauges, the armature on those, are working. And then what we'll do is uh, start the vehicle. Most important one of them all is going to be your oil pressure gauge. You want to make sure that it's functioning properly. It comes up within the, the three to five seconds after starting the vehicle. Water temperature. Uh, fuel gauge, obviously, very important. Uh, and then your air, their air pressure. Make sure that your air gauges are working properly. You can hear the buzzer in the background here. Um, it's obviously it's going to show that we have no brake air, uh, so low air pressure. <clears throat> Make sure that it builds up like it's supposed to. See the light went out and the buzzer went off. We've reached our designated pressure for this to be uh, released. Another part of your air brake test, <clears throat> make sure everything is functioning properly. 
Uh, you'll watch your gauges, make sure that, uh, and then you're also your, your valve. When it reaches a certain PSI, it should pop back out. See it popped out there. We've reached uh, 30 PSI, I believe is what it is, 25 PSI. So anyway, um, that's functioning properly, so we know our air brakes are working like they're supposed to. All right, well, while you're sitting here letting your truck warm up, uh, it's best to use a spotter for this practice. Check your headlights, all your turn signals. Okay, everything's working there. Have a spotter go to the back of the vehicle. Now we'll check our tail lights, turn signals, and our reverse alarm back there, or your backup alarm. Left signal, right signal's working. Hazard. Hazards. That's it. That's the rest of our pre-trip inspection. Now this is too large a topic to cover in a video of this length, but if you would like more information or training, the University of Texas at Arlington LTAP program would be more than happy to help you. Please feel free to call us at the information provided below on the screen.